So thanks for joining me. My name is Shri. I'm a customer success manager at Clevu. And what does Clevu do? I ask myself the same thing every day. <laughs> Just kidding. We provide AI powered product discovery software that connects shoppers with what they want to buy. So let's talk about the problem, normally referred to as the middle child. I say this with respect while hiding behind my monitor. <laughs> the landscape for e-commerce is more crowded than ever. E-commerce has grown tremendously during the COVID pandemic. People are much more comfortable shopping online. Several clients have told me that in the past two years, their strongest revenue months used to be their lowest. Crazy, right? So US consumers will spend $933 billion on e-commerce this year. This is an 18% year over year increase and is 15.3% of total retail sales. Let's talk about product discovery. We want shoppers to have the best experience possible and great customer experiences are created by removing barriers. Is your product discovery filled with barriers or is it guiding shoppers to the cart? We are going to drill down into header navigation, the homepage, search, filtering and product selection, product detail pages, and purchasing. So whether you're established or just starting out, I hope to show you some areas of your website that can be improved. So if you can follow along, open up your homepage on your website or on your browser, not on your website, and follow along with me. Let's start with site navigation. Is your search bar visible on mobile and desktop? Search converts three to five times better than non-search pages. It's obvious, right? We want to drive people to search. This means a prominent and visible search bar on the home page. So make sure your search bar is in exactly the same position across the entire website. You don't want it to be bouncing all around like a two-year-old. You want it to be static. Same thing with mobile. You want a visible and consistent search bar on mobile. Whoops. That slide went a little bit ahead of me. You want a visible and consistent search bar on mobile because that will increase purchases by 44%. People interact with what they can see. A lot of fancy UX, UI design hides the search bar behind a pretty icon or something similar. Don't do that. Show people they can search and they will search and you will see that mobile increase. Now let's talk product content. Do you have information pages like return policies, shipping information and FAQs as part of search results? Definitely start including those. 68% of shoppers want to know your return policies before buying. Including that information is helpful to shoppers as you're providing value and value always helps conversion. Now let's talk about your homepage. Do you show product recommendations on your homepage or landing pages? Think about including them. Relevant product recommendations on the home page increase conversion by 25%. If you can, make them personalized to the shopper or show newer trending products. The way e-commerce is going, somebody always has something newer trending, so keep that up to date. And when you show the recommendations, you wanna make sure the content is rich, so include price, include sales, include reviews, any relevant attribute to get a shopper to buy things. You also want to make sure your content is fresh, either merchandise it daily or use an AI recommendations tool, wait for the name drop, like Clavu to help you automate. We are now going to dive into search and product discovery. I have not had any coffee today, so please bear with me and give me a lot of enthusiasm. Do you offer auto suggestions in your search? You want site search to anticipate what a shopper is looking for. This can be done with the search dropdown or overlay that so search and product suggestions while someone is actually typing. So if you guys remember back when we actually went into stores and shopped, did you ever remember working behind the counter and someone would come in saying, hey, we're looking for something fun, friendly, colorful for my two-year-old? Really specific, right? Keep in mind that even online, shoppers will not know product names they won't know how to spell them or even which product they're looking for. So you want to anticipate what they're looking for and help them out. In the graphic that you see, we're looking at Euro Kangas, a Finnish fabric shop. The search term black stripe brings up not only products, 
but also categories and content pages. Now let's talk about typos. They happen. 26% of e-commerce websites cannot handle simple misspelled words and return zero results. Most shoppers will bounce if they get a zero result. Natural language processing prevents this. In this graphic, you'll see that on one site, SOFA is misspelled as S-O-F-F-A and returns zero results. In the second example, the same search on made.com returns relevant results. With Clevu, natural language processing or NLP is part of our AI and requires no manual work. So don't lose sales over a simple typo. Now let's talk about long tailed search phrases. Natural language is becoming more and more important with the use of voice to search, especially for mobile devices. Can your search engine process a term that includes various attributes like color and category and price? According to the Clevu Product Discovery Index, 54% of e-commerce websites returned zero or irrelevant results for complex search queries that natural language. You want relevant results in the search overlay and search results pages like we see here on made.com. All right, no results pages or the NRP. E-commerce merchants love these. Remember when word clouds were all the rage back in the day? You'd see them on every no result page. Here's the thing. You do not want your shoppers to ever reach this page. With natural language processing, there's a 12% increase in e-commerce conversion from search. Why? Because shoppers are finding what they're looking for. There will still be instances when a user hits the NRP. You don't want the shopper to abandon the site in that instance. So you want to think about how to keep them, how to keep that conversion. So here are some tips. Number one, have a well laid out page. Number two, provide alternate queries or keyword suggestions. Don't have them think too much. You want to guide the shopper. Lastly, provide a list of relevant categories or trending products. The entire goal is to not lose the conversion. Adidas, as you can see here, does this really well, which by the way, is probably because the page is reached often. Obvious hint, they don't use Clevu. For the record, marketing insisted I say this joke, I take zero responsibility. Please enjoy the pun. Now let's talk personalization. Do you use it on your website? Personalization increases the average order value by 6% when enabled on a website. The slightest improvements to average order value, per session value, or conversion rate will result in more revenue generating traffic to your website. Here are some tips. Have a reset window. Any personalization behavior or purchases reset after a certain time period. Number two, base personalization on behavior rather than profiling. This will result in more relevant results. It is not resource heavy and there are no associated privacy concerns or risks. Next, we'll talk about sorting and filtering, important for laundry and socks and also your website. If you don't have proper sorting and filtering options, you can end up wearing different colored socks to a client meeting. Don't ask me for details, it's very embarrassing. When you search for something general on your site, like red shoes or casual dining wear, do you allow shoppers to sort and filter your products easily? If you look at the graphic on this slide, you'll see that shoppers can, number one, see all relevant filters. Two, see how many products are in each filter. Three, Choosing, they are able to choose multiple filters in different categories. And lastly, they have their choices auto update, avoiding a zero result scenario. Shoppers are already familiar with this kind of navigation behavior due to Amazon. So they expect the same behavior with other retailers, especially when there are many items to choose from. Product recommendations or how I maxed out another credit card, true story. Do you display recommendations on category and product detail pages? When shoppers see complementary suggestions or recommendations using strategies like viewed also viewed or recently viewed, the impact on your average order value and overall revenue is immense. Recommendations in the basket or shopping cart is an opportunity to upsell. You do not wanna miss out on that opportunity. Strategies such as bought also bought or pricing specific algorithms can have a positive impact. 
the clothing retailer Ruli uses pricing rules. If the card is less than $85, for instance, the prices of recommended items are restricted to be less than $50. So I've breezed through a lot today and I have 10 more slides to go through. Just kidding, I really don't. But what I do want to do is summarize by sharing six key points for you to incorporate onto your site. Number one, make sure your search box is visible on mobile and on desktop and achieve a 44% increase in mobile orders. Two, have your on-site search engine process typos and use natural language, achieving a 12% increase in search conversion. Three, offer filter options on category and search results pages. Increase your conversion by 5%. Four, display smart auto suggestions with rich content and keep the search term visible. Achieve a 20% increase in mobile conversion. Five, place product recommendations on the homepage and see a 25% increase. Put them in the basket for a 7% increase in average order value. Six, add recently viewed products and use other product recommendations on the category, cart, or product detail pages and increase your overall site-wide AOV by 7%. Lastly, remember that the key to sustainable growth is not only converting the traffic you're already getting, but also increasing your customer's lifetime value. Thank you so much for following along. My name is Sri. I'm a customer success manager at Clevu. Please reach out to us at marketing at for any questions or to get a copy of our product discovery audit spreadsheet.